Our athletes are here first as students and second as athletes, but both are really important uh, to all of them. Uh, and what, what is a wonderful expression of that is how well our student athletes do in the classroom. Uh, here at Muhlenberg. Our student athletes take second uh, position to no one uh, in, academically. Our student athletes perform at or better uh, than uh, the average for the whole student body. So we're, we're thrilled uh, with that uh, and with all of the other dimensions that athletics brings, uh, brings to the college. Uh, our, student ath our athletics program has a, a, a phrase, 22, 22 sports, one team. And that togetherness, that integrated uh, sense of whole, sense of being part of something bigger than yourself pervades each of our teams and each of our sports but the entire athletic program itself and then bleeds over to the rest of our of rest of our campus uh, and that's such a great uh, contribution to Muhlenberg and to division three uh, sports more generally so with that uh, I'm delighted to be part of this day to we to welcome uh, Kevin Hopkins to Muhlenberg and to our bath bath basketball program Thank you, John. I'd like to give just a brief rundown of the process. We had a, a committee on campus, an advisory committee, uh, that com was comprised of 13 members of our community. We had student athletes, we had several faculty members, we had administrators from across campus, and we really approached this as a holistic search. Um, the student athletes were engaged from the very, very start of the process. We had meetings with the entire team to talk about what it is should, we should be looking for in our next head coach. And then we had three members of the search advisory committee were student athletes from the current team. And one of those young men is uh, someone you're going to meet here in a moment, uh, Jean Lee Baez, who was a proud graduate of Allentown Central Catholic and was an outstanding player there and has been a leader on our campus really since the moment he arrived. This, the search yielded over 300 applications. Um, we screened those initially for qualifications and got it down to about a group of 125 that the committee all reviewed. Um, and that's a massive amount of work, so I can't thank the members of the search committee enough for the effort that they put into this as well. And then we, we gradually worked it down to the, to the gentleman sitting here with us today, and I will let Jean Lee talk about why Kevin Hopkins was the perfect choice. Jean Lee Baez, class of 2018. One, two, one, two. All right. I just had to make sure it worked. Uh, first off, I want to say uh, thank you to Corey Goff and Megan Pachuno for allowing me to speak on behalf of the team today. And I would also like to thank the media for coming out. Um, since the first day that we met Kevin, you know, we, uh, we had a strong connection with him. Being that, you know, I mean, not the fact that he was 6'10 or anything, but just being that when we walked in the gym, we walked by and we were like, wait, is that the head coach right there? Is that him? Uh, so, I mean, it was just cool to see, you know, that's Kevin Hopkins. And uh, it just, we just felt like he would be best for our program because of his philosophies and, you know, what he wanted to bring to the team. Being that he came from a winning background, we were really interested in that. Um, during his playing career, you know, at um, Amherst, he played for four years, where his team was 111 and 12. Um, he appeared in three Final Fours and won the first national championship for Amherst in 2007. And then he coached for the Santa Cruz Warriors, which really intrigued us as well in uh, NBA Developmental League. And they also won a championship there. But he really felt that what he wanted to do with his life was coach D3 basketball, because um, at this level, you get to interact with the kids and make sure that you only have an impact not for four years but for their whole lives so he wanted he knew that being at amherst that we really value like education and the athletics so we always thought that he would be best for our program and we just love the leadership qualities that he exhibited to us when we met him and we we're just really excited to be um a part of his program uh, I just feel like him as a coach, he brings a different dynamic to uh, our team. You know, he wants to run a flea flooring offense. He wants to play man-to-man -man defense. And those are things that excite us. So um, I just want to say we're really excited to play for you, Coach Hopkins, and I hope that everything goes well and everything goes as planned. Please uh, help me in introducing our new head coach, Kevin Hopkins. I'm really excited to be here. Um, I think it's a great privilege and an honor to have been selected as the next head coach here. I'm really looking forward to the challenge. Uh, first thing I want to do, though, is thank Coach Goff, uh, President Williams, 
John Lee and, and the rest of the team and, and the search committee for selecting me and putting their trust in me to be the leader of this program. Um, I think we can do some special things next year. I've had a chance to meet with the team and think that we got a really, lot of talented guys that um, are really great kids and want to work hard and so looking forward to moving forward with this team. Um, when I met with the team last night, I told them how important it was um, to be appreciative of the people that got you to where you are. So the first thing I want to do is just thank a few people. Um, the first person would be my mom. Um, when I was 15 years old, my dad passed away from cancer. Um, so to have a single mom that raised three kids and put all of us through college um, is just an incredible testament to who she is as a person. And so without her, there's not a chance that I'd be standing here um, before you guys. And then also her fiance, Tom, my brother and sister, Eric and Jessica, um, just boyfriend, Castro, my brother's wife, Cassandra, and my little nephew, Zachary. Um, without their love and support, um, I wouldn't have the privilege to be standing in front of you guys. They're always coming out to games, and I know they're all looking forward to coming down and catching the mules, play some basketball games. Um, I also want to thank the people from Amherst, President Martin, um, Athletic Director Don Falstick, and perhaps most importantly, um, the head coach, David Hickson, and the rest of the Amherst basketball family. Um, I had the privilege to play for Coach Hickson and then also work with him as a peer. And those are some of the best basketball experiences of my lives. But, but also, um, I learned a lot about you know, just life and being a good person, what it means on and off the court um, to be successful. And so, um, again, just want to thank them and then also as John Lee spoke about, I had an opportunity to go work in Santa Cruz, so I want to take the chance to thank Coach Casey Hill and the rest of the Santa Cruz um, Warriors organization. It was a privilege to work for them, and I learned a lot out there, but again, like he said, it kind of confirmed my belief that um, Division Three athletics is the place for me. Um, really enjoy working with student athletes and kind of having the opportunity to have a lifelong impact on, on kids. Um, I know I'm probably forgetting a lot of people, and so um, just want to make sure that I'm acknowledging the fact that there's a lot of other people out there that have had an impact on me and have gotten me to where I am today, and I'm very appreciative of them and, and of the opportunity here. Um, like I said, I met with the team last night. Um, I was really excited for it, talking to the guys and just talking about what they want to do moving forward with the program and how hard they want to work. And so. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do the rest of the spring. Um, we talked a lot about the importance of academics and, and doing the right thing and making sure that they're getting stuff done in the classroom, but then also on the basketball court. Um, we've already implemented a few changes as far as things we're going to do while they're playing pickup and other little things, getting in the weight room, um, doing all the, right, all the little things right. And so looking forward to seeing that and seeing the growth from where guys are now to where they're going to be when they come back in the fall. Um, one of the big things we talked about last night with the team was guys taking ownership and having a voice. And so um, moving forward, I'm looking forward to having those interactions with the student athletes here and having them take ownership of the team. Um, and then feeling free to come forward and talk about the things that matter. Um, so anything that comes up, I've told them my door is always open and feel free to come talk with me. Um, and then one of the other things we talked about was having respect for um, the Muhlenberg basketball tradition. It's a great honor to become a part of Muhlenberg basketball. It's a program that's been around for a long time. I know there's a lot of great alums out there um, who've been involved with the program, and I'm looking forward to interacting with them and getting them involved with their, our current student athletes. Um, and so the thing I stressed to them was trying to leave the program in a better place than when you found it. And so. Um, it's going to start right now of working with these guys and you know, trying to build on the tradition that exists already and then trying to push it forward and make it even better going into the future. Um, those are kind of my thoughts on the program. I'm really excited to be here, really looking forward to working with the student athletes here at Muhlenberg and the rest of the athletic staff. Um, just grateful for the opportunity that I've been given. Yeah, um, and I've told the team this. I've only had a chance to watch a few of their games from last season so far. So a lot of it's going to be based on um, watching all of the games from last year and figuring out what guys excel at and what they're best at and then trying to put them in positions to be successful. 
Um, so a lot of it's going to depend on our personnel and my research and what I think is going to work best for this team. Um, it's been my experience that I think the game of basketball is moving towards a faster paced game with less half court sets and more of a free flowing offense that's connected and more read based and letting guys make plays. Um, so ideally, I'd like to see us push the ball and play a little bit faster um, than we may have in the, in the past. Um, but then I also want our transition to flow right into our half court, to flow right into our end of clock stuff um, without having to back it up, call a play, let the defense reset. Um, and then defensively, um, my whole career as a player and as a coach, I've played man to man. Um, we've been a switching team. And so that's kind of been my experience. I think it's something that's really effective. I think when you can run a switching defense that it takes away a lot of the stuff that an offense tries to do um, as long as you're aggressive with it and not passive sitting back. So it's something we're going to work on a lot in practice. Um, and so those are kind of my philosophies. Any other questions? Thank you.